If we look globally, it's, it's often a little bit paradoxical or counterintuitive uh, where we are finding opportunities. Um, if you look over overseas and you look at uh, the US and Europe and developed markets, the outlook looks very favourable from an economics perspective. So the fundamentals are, are, are very attractive. We're seeing synchronised growth. But that is often the time when one needs to be cautious because that's very visible. And as a result, share prices or security prices in, in those areas are very high. Uh, and complacency is very high. The market is, is very complacent that this is going to continue. As a result, we're just not finding a lot of margin of safety in that area. So we have got uh, record high cash levels when we're thinking about our offshore securities. And we generally are more cautious in that space. But if you look at home in South Africa, and, and we'd compare that in a, you know, in a global context, uh, I think South Africa, certain parts of the South African market, uh, those domestic facing companies and, and securities such as fixed income, uh, we think are very attractive. I mean, there'd be standout opportunities on a global perspective. And there's a simple reason. Uh, there's been a lot of fear and uncertainty in South Africa around some of the political decisions that have been made over the last couple of years, which has caused some fear around South African securities and have pushed their prices down to low levels. Uh, and that has created an opportunity. So that wouldn't be obvious. Most people would be looking offshore and saying there's great opportunities offshore because the, you know, the fundamentals look very good. Uh, we would be taking the opposite view. South Africa is where the, the good opportunities are. Lots of mid-cap companies in South Africa that are facing South African GDP, facing the South African economy. Uh, we think these are the standout opportunities over the next couple of years.